We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And just the other day, we did a video on how to heal disease naturally. And this video can be located at the link below. And it's really critical that we watch this video before we watch this one, because it's kind of like part one. And it's the basic foundation that you need. In fact, you don't even need this video. The first video at that link below has everything you need in order to be healthy. And I suggest stop watching now if you haven't watched that yet. Now, I would say probably around 80 to 90% of all disease is a result of toxicity that has built up in the body from processed foods that was introduced to the human population a few generations ago. And I would say that the other 10 to 20% of disease has to do with nutritional deficiencies, where we're not getting enough nutrition into our bodies. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I'm gonna go into exactly what I consume and do in my daily regimen so I personally avoid deficiency. The first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I drink 32 ounces of water. And this is pretty important because water acts as a transport medium for toxins. And when we go to bed at night, we go through cleansing for the first time all throughout the day. We actually eat no food for eight hours, so it's like we're fasting. But also at nighttime, when the sun goes down, our bodies go through dialysis, which is cleansing of the kidneys. And you know that you've cleansed at night because when you wake up in the morning, you generally wake up with sleep stuff in your eye or you might have a runny nose and you might feel groggy because there's toxins running through your bloodstream. And so what I do is I drink 32 ounces of water and since water acts as a transport medium for toxins, it kind of flushes the entire body out and you feel a lot better. Now, normally a person wakes up in the morning, they're groggy, they're in a bad mood, and they have toxins running through the bloodstream, and they feel like they need that stimulant of coffee to pick me up. So what we can do is, I mean, if we're addicted to coffee, then we might have to go through withdrawals to get to this point, but we could do that and flush these toxins out and feel a lot better in the morning if we drink 16 to 32 ounces of water first thing in the morning. So what I do after I drink the 16 ounces of water is I let that digest, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And the next thing I consume are something called micronutrients. And let me explain what a micronutrient is real quickly. I also have to explain what macronutrients are. Macronutrients pretty much comes from our solid food meals of the day, which give us energy and calories and stuff like this. For example, if you're on a whole foods diet, things like baked potato or brown rice and beans would give you that, those calories and fuel that you need, energy. Now, me being on a raw food diet, I can eat a really big salad with avocado and tomatoes, and this is what's giving me my nutrition, my energy and fuel. However, our body is actually digest, takes a lot of energy to digest that food. And what micronutrients are, is it's a way to get an incredible amount of nutrition in just a small amount of food. And this nutrition is readily absorbable to the body, extremely absorbable, and it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to digest. While my macronutrients, you generally take two to six hours to digest. So what a micronutrient usually consists of are things such as green vegetable juices, wheatgrass juice, which is absolutely nasty. It makes me want to gag and vomit. I don't like to drink that much. Um, other things are stuff like um, coconut water, green food powders, and the list goes on and on. So what I do is first thing in the morning, after I drink my 32 ounces of water and that digest for 15 to 20 minutes, I make sure to drink a mi or eat a micronutrient. And this is critical for the following reasons. As soon as we eat our first solid meal of the day, our absorption rate goes down drastically. And the reason why this happens is, you know when you have your first solid meal of the day, you start to get that bloated feeling, you've created all this gas in your body, and then after your second meal, you get even more bloated, and by the time the evening comes, you are just like fully bloated here, right? So what we do is we go to sleep, and we go through cleansing, and we off gas. And when we wake up in the morning, magically, we just got that flat stomach again, and our body is ready for nourishment. And this is the ideal time to give our bodies these micronutrients. If we eat our first solid meal of the day, you've wasted it on that, 
and you don't get nearly as nu much nutrition as you would have. The body has to digest all that food and you get some nourishment, but nothing compared to if you did this. And now you're sitting there bloated and there's less pathways to get the nutrition to where it needs to go. So the first thing I do after I drink my water is I have my ma micronutrients. And this might be a green vegetable juice and other things we're gonna discuss in a minute. Now, everything you need in order to be healthy is available at that link, at that video below that we talked about just the other day, how to heal from disease naturally. And you can get nourishment for free. You can get greens from the sidewalks. Carrots can be inexpensive. You can make green vegetable juices also. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through what I do on a daily basis to make sure I'm getting all the nourishment that we need. I personally like to take a lot of superfoods, which are the most nutrient dense superfoods in the world. And we're gonna go over the top 14 supplements and superfoods that I have discovered in this movement. Now, out of all 14 of these superfoods and supplements, only about four or five of them are micronutrients. Now, remember, you don't need any of these superfoods or supplements in order to be healthy. We can find ways to do this on our own. But you could, these, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna target every last aspect of health. We are gonna target our vitamins, our minerals, our proteins, our antioxidants. We're going to boost our immune system, balance our hormone system, and the list just goes on and on. And if you were to take these superfoods, you have the potential to bring your nutrition levels way beyond where they need to be. And if you're on a budget, you don't have to take every single one of these superfoods right here and now. You could do that and just boost out all, all your nutrition levels way beyond where they need to be. But we could literally, seriously, let's say you're on a $50 budget a month, we could target minerals this month and target the next area of vitamins or whatever you need to target or immune system the next month and so on. There's no rules here and you don't have to do too, too crazy. It could be very affordable. And again, it can be done for free also as seen in the video at the link below. So out of all of the 14 superfoods and supplements that we're gonna talk about today, only about four or five of them are micronutrients. And I feel that the micronutrients are the ones that are the most critical because it enables us to get incredible amounts of nutrition very quickly. So if you're gonna get some of these or just a few, I would definitely stick to the micronutrients. So the first thing I do in the morning is I drink 32 ounces of water. And then I wait 15 to 20 minutes and then I have my first micronutrient of the day. And generally, I like to target minerals. What we're gonna target first is minerals. And the first thing I like to take is a mineral supplement that is called Kint Essential. This has every last mineral the human body needs, and it will boost your mineral levels way beyond where they need to go. So what we have is this box, and it contains 30 glass vials of incredible amounts of minerals here. If you take a look like this, you pull one of these out. I'm actually gonna take one right now, and you've got this glass vial. What you do is you just peel this guy off and you go like this. What I like to do is keep it under my tongue until it disappears. Because I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> because we've got a video to do. Because a lot of us have absorption issues. And when you take it right under your tongue, there's a little bit more in there, and you keep it there, I don't even swallow it, it just disappears over time then we can absorb a lot of it through there. So this is a critical thing to do, is when you take micronutrient supplements, just to keep it in your mouth for as long as you possibly can. So what is Keat Essential? And if you look at this right here, it says it's raw, unheated ocean minerals. And that doesn't give it any justice, because that's not really exactly what it is. And firstly, I know when someone hears like something comes from the ocean, they get a little bit nervous because of Fukushima and radioactive particles. Um, for me to actually carry this product, I make sure that the company does lab tests on um, certain radioactive particles. For example, I just got a, the test recently where this shows that it's free of cesium, strontium, and many other things like this. Our customer service has this if this is something that interests you. And it's all done in la laboratories and it's completely void of these things and I feel safe. So what is Kint Essential really? So in the ocean, there's these natural occurring vortexes that happen in certain areas of the ocean. And what happens is marine phytoplankton and zooplankton congregate in these vortexes and whales usually come in and feed off of them. But what happens is the marine phytoplankton 
um, and the zooplankton. The zooplankton actually consumes the marine phytoplankton and eats them. And it's actually filtered through the zooplankton. So it's actually filtered organically, taking all inorganic minerals out and hopefully cleaning out any other junk. And what comes out is it processes through the zooplankton and the saline solution that comes out of the zooplankton after eating this and filters everything is quintessential. It's this right here that comes out of the zooplankton. Now, Rene Quintone, who developed this in 1913, was actually using this product to help heal people from all sorts of degenerative diseases, deficiencies, and so on, and especially mineral deficiencies. Many athletes use this for hydration because this is one of the best things you can take for hydration. And when you take this and you view it under a microscope, nothing comes cl as close to the blood molecule, not even coconut water, as this saline solution, Kinti Essential. And not only does it have all the minerals the body needs, but it also has other magical ingredients in there, such as RNA and DNA and other omega fatty acids and so on. So what I do is first thing in the morning, after for my first micronutrient, I usually take this. And you don't have to take it every single day. This is 30, it lasts a month, you take one a day. You might wanna take it for one month and not take it for a month. Or if you really wanna boost your minerals, you take it for two months and you do it and then after that, you just take one every three days. It's up to you, you don't have to go, go too crazy with all of this. So after I take this, I let it digest for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And what I personally like to do is before I have my first solid meal of the day, I like to take three micronutrients just so I can get all the nutrition my body can at the beginning when the absorption rate is the highest. Now I know many people wake up in the morning and they need their coffee or they need their first meal of the day. If you could just even get one micronutrient, this is big. We could do steps and improvements, it doesn't matter. And you can also, in between meals, take micronutrients also. You're gonna still get a lot of benefit from it. So I might drink a vegetable juice after 15 minutes. Another incredible superfood that's a micronutrient that I like to take is something called pine pollen. Pine pollen is readily absorbable and has ridiculous amounts of nutrition. It actually says right here, containing over 200 bioactive vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And it's extremely readily absorbable. I've literally taken over a tablespoon of this and I went running. It's like it doesn't go through any digestion. It just like melts in your mouth. There's no fiber in here. This is a micronutrient which is loaded with all sorts of nutrition. And there's something very special about pine pollen. It has a lot of something like what I like to call is magical nutrition that you don't see in other foods. There's, if you were to go to our website and look at the nutritional breakdown of this pine pollen right here, you'll be blown away. It has crazy amounts of vitamins, B vitamins, minerals. It has MSM, DHEA, ALA, all the amino acids that you need, omega fatty acids, and it actually, there's even clinical studies that show this, it has vitamin D2 and D3 in it. This is just jammed packed with nutrition and is an excellent micronutrient that you could take when you're on the go. Furthermore, well, before we get into this, um, there was clinical study done, but I don't condone clinical studies done on animals. However, since they've already been done, I feel like they are useful and I can actually share some of the things I've learned from studying them. And there was a clinical study done on pine, poll pine pollen where they took mice and they injected them with collagen-induced arthritis, which is kind of like a model where a human being would get rheumatoid arthritis. And what they did was the mice that took the pine pollen, their rare hind paw swelling went down. And another important thing that happened is rheumatoid factor went down, these numbers. Now, when any of us ever get tested for arthritis, any type of arthritis, whether it's basic arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, they always check rheumatoid factor. This is like one of the key things that need to be measured. And for this to take down rheumatoid factor, that's absolutely huge. There was this woman at our first retreat who started taking pine pollen and all of a sudden she was coming up to me saying, Matt, my arthritis has totally loosened up and I feel like it's like it's practically gone and I have no pain. And I was blown away. I didn't even read that clinical study before and I learned about it afterwards and I contacted her. And I feel that this is the best superfood for arthritis for somebody to take. So what I'll do is I'll probably take a tablespoon of this stuff um, you know, again, you don't have to do it every single day. You could switch different things up. And this is just jam packed with nutrition. So now we've targeted minerals, vitamins and mag magical nutrition. There's protein in here and so much more. 
The next thing we're gonna target is another micronutrient, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna target our immune system, and we are about to boost it beyond all measure that we've ever done before. And it's critical in today's day and age to boost our immune system in order to protect us from foreign substances and pathogenic organisms which cause sickness and disease. And it's very well known that the reishi mushroom is one of the best ways to boost our immune system. Now, as many of you have probably seen from a previous video of mine, we discovered a product, a reishi product, that's never been seen before and is over 10, 20, 30, 100 times more powerful than any other reishi product on the market. And this is another micronutrient. And in fact, we actually have three different reishi products right in here. Let's get these bad boys. So what we have here, in order to boost our immune system, are three reishi spore products. And many clinical studies show that reishi spores is where the highest concentration of triterpenes and polysaccharides are located. And these are what are responsible for making all of these incredible things happen in clinical studies, which we're gonna talk about in a moment. And the first product, the first reishi spore product we have is simply reishi spore powder. And this is the weakest of all three of these reishi spore products. However, it is the most powerful reishi mushroom product on the market compared to all others out there other extracts and things like this. Nothing compares to this that's available on the market today. Now, it literally takes 1,000 kilos of reishi mushroom to get you just one kilo of reishi spore powder. And then the next product we have is reishi spore oil. It actually takes 1,000 kilos of reishi spore powder to get just a few kilos of reishi spore oil. This is way more concentrated and has even more triterpenes than actually this. The way we source our reishi spore products, as we've shown in previous videos, is uncomparable to any other method that you've seen. There is nothing more powerful than these reishi spore products. There are reishi, other reishi spore oils out on the market, but I'm telling you, we've done the analysis, there is a higher percentage of triterpenes in this product than that. Now, while I feel that this is the most powerful superfood in the world, We've got something that's even probably 30, 50 times stronger than this. And this superfood has never been seen on the market in history. However, there's all these clinical studies done on it. And what, what it is, is reishi spore triterpene crystals. Although this product has never been seen on the market, there have been clinical studies done on it. And why would that happen? If you, you can look on Amazon, you can look anywhere on the internet, you will not find anything. What, what this is called is triterpenoids. And we fancied up the name and called it reishi spore triterpene crystals because when you actually open it up and look at it, there's these little crystals in it. It's kind of comparable to this. I don't do drugs or anything like that. But if you were to take marijuana and sift out all the THC crystals, that's pretty much what we did with the reishi mushroom. We've extracted the most powerful, potent constituent of the reishi mushroom and put it in here. Now, due to cancer research and other things where the industry wants reishi to be inflated, they've actually done clinical studies on these triterpenoids, and it is so powerful at boosting the immune system, it has been shown in clinical studies to actually inhibit the herpes virus. It is so powerful at boosting the immune system, it has the potential to inhibit the HIV virus. Furthermore, it actually states that it has the potential to dissolve cancerous tumors. And you can actually click the link below to view all of the different clinical studies that have been done on reishi spore products and triterpenoids. There have actually been about 14 to 20 different clinical studies that we have listed at that link below that talks about how it has helped with cancer. We're talking lung cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and the list just goes on and on and on. This right here is the most powerful superfood in the world, and nothing boosts the immune system more effectively than this. Now, just to bring it all home, there's one more clinical study that I'd like to share with you. So what they did was they took three groups of rats. The first group of rats, they gave a certain amount of reishi spores to. The second group, they gave more reishi spores to. And then the final group, they gave a ridiculous amount of reishi spores to. And then what they did was they injected these mice with something called streptozoticin, which actually causes decay of the hippocampus. And it's actually a model for Alzheimer's disease as you would see it in humans. The rats that took the largest amount of reishi spores, it actually protected their brain, their hippocampus, from any degradation from the streptozoticin, while the other groups actually had this happen to them. 
it was, they were completely unaffected. And the hippocampus is the part of the brain in the human and the mouse, which is responsible for short-term and long-term memory and spatial navigation. So what we have here is a product that can actually help protect our, brain, our hippocampus from chemical compounds such as streptozotocin. And if you look at the statistics today, I've actually went to the Alzheimer's Association, it actually states that one in three elderly die with Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease, which we talked about in that other video, is up 68% from 2000 to 2011. Why all of a sudden is this happening? Well, first off, we're eating all sorts of chemical compounds that we've never done before, but we're also breathing in all sorts of chemical compounds that are obviously not good for us. And over time, there's a chance that we might be able and end up with Alzheimer's disease or dementia or other, some form like that. So what I personally like to do is I like to take the Rishi Spore oil every single day in order to protect my hippocampus. And for the first time in history, we have the ability to take Rishi Spore products at a reasonable price at, in high quantities to protect us from things like this. Additionally, in this clinical study, the mice that took the highest amount of Rishi spores, it actually improved their cognitive dysfunction. They were able to perform different tests better, such as the step-down latency test or the probe test or whatever it is. And so I'm thinking that the Rishi spore products have the potential to help protect our brains and improve our cognitive functioning. And so why would I take this one versus this one or versus this one? Now, this one is absolutely crazy. It is a ridiculous amount of tritropine crystals that is loaded with polysaccharides. It's like taking a huge blast, quick absorption really fast and you get it all really quickly. While these two products are more of a slow absorption rate. And this is why I like to take these on a daily basis just to protect myself, I don't have any issues or stuff like that. But if someone were to have like a disease that they want to hit, like in these clinical studies we talked, or if they have issues with cognitive brain functioning, I would personally take this one. And I do take this one too sometimes. When we were on the road, I took this and I was flying. This is probably my favorite product to take when I'm like really like worn down and I need energy or whatever. I take this, this gives incredible amounts of focus. They all give incredible amounts of focus, but this is like taking it to an entire new level. And I've seen people use this who have had extreme positive results with it. So what we've done now is we've targeted our minerals. These are all micronutrients, the vitamins, proteins, and all sorts of magical nutrition. And now we've boosted our immune system way beyond anything that has ever been seen before. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna target balancing our hormone system. And what we have are macronutrient and a micronutrient superfood that actually targets the hormone system. And many of you probably know what that is. And yes, it's maca. We've actually got six kinds of maca, but two that are kind of, one's a micronutrient and one's a macronutrient superfood. Okay. I actually found six different clinical studies where they took pre-gelatinized maca and administered it to premenopausal women who were having night sweats and hot flashes and unbalanced hormone systems. And the results of these clinical studies actually showed to reduce night sweats and hot flashes. Furthermore, it actually increased and balanced out hormone levels. For example, it increased estrogen, estrogen, which plays a critical role in bone health, to where bone density markers of these women went up from simply taking gelatinized yellow maca. And it's not just premenopausal women that I've seen be benefited from this. I've had women from all ages report to me that from taking maca, it helped balance their hormone system levels. And guys, trust me. You want your ladies to be taking maca. Trust me. I make sure this is readily available all of the time. Now, we have six different kinds of maca. We've got red maca, black maca, and yellow maca, both in their regular raw form and gelatinized form. Now, each different color of maca has a different set of secondary metabolites, which are responsible for making different things happen in the human body, and they all have different benefits, as shown in many clinical studies. And we're gonna go over all of this right now, why you might wanna take this color maca versus that color maca and whatnot. But there's something that really disturbs me about this whole entire superfoods industry that I've just gotta talk about, and I'm gonna do that right now. When I first got into business 13 years ago, when we opened the raw food world, 
I was really excited to meet these guys that sold superfoods. They had every kind of superfood. And I could go to these guys, like a middleman from the people in Peru and other countries, they would supply all sorts of superfoods for me. It was an amazing thing, because what I could do is I could go to them and I'd be like, I could start a business, superfood business right now. I could only take 24 of maca, I could take 36 cacao powder, and so on. So I started to do this and we started to create this amazing business. And these guys would tout how amazing their superfoods were. And I was like completely excited about this. And as time went on, we grew and expanded more and more. So what I started to do was I started to go directly to the source, bypassing these guys and getting our own superfoods because we could buy, the, buy them by the container load now. And I had started to discover things that were very disturbing to me, which drives me absolutely nutso. Because when I first went to get our first container of maca for the first time in history, all of a sudden our maca tasted completely different. And I would give it to people and they would be like, is this maca? Because it is so powerful and high in life force, it actually almost burns on your tongue. You can actually sense the difference. These people weren't used to that type of thing. And so as I'm sitting here going to the Peru, I'm beginning to realize there are like five to 10 different grades of maca that a person can get. And I started to learn that these people who touted that they have the best superfoods in the world were getting maca at half the price that we pay, things with fillers or the rejects, in order to get it at half price and compete. And when you taste the difference, it is completely mind blowing. So just a little bit about our maca. I'm gonna kind of tell you how we source it and how we do things here at the raw food world. And this goes for every single superfood we carry. So in order to get to the maca fields, you have to go to Peru and you've got to drive 15 to 16 hours in pristine environment. You're just invigorated as you drive on the way in this pristine air. And our fields are located at 13,000 foot elevation in the Andes. And our maca is located in a nature reserve. It's only fed by spring water. And when we harvest the maca for the first time, we don't plant again for another five years so the land can regenerate. Furthermore, our factory is located right near the maca fields and we use the, the clean spring water to wash the maca. I've seen maca being done in cities where nasty water is being used and the workers are upset. They live in a city and the energy is not good. They're, and the people that we work for, as soon as I get to the maca fields, they're trying to serve us the best of their ability. They have a smile from the beginning till the end. They're excited to be able to keep their way of life of hiking miles and being healthy, living to 100 years old. And then we process it. We have a video that shows the processing facility of how clean it is and stuff like this. So I'm telling you right now, what I do for a living is I get the most highest quality, potent, nutritionally dense superfoods you can possibly imagine. That's critical in today's day and age to make sure we're getting all the nutrition we need with the degradation of the food supply and whatnot. So now let's talk a little bit about the different maca colors. If you go to the maca fields and you were to take a square foot of the maca field, about only 6% of that would, in, would be black maca. It's a true rare gem actually. And about 12%, I would say maybe 12 to 10 to 15% is red maca. And then the rest of the 80% is yellow maca. It's the most prevalent. And the black maca, it's stated on Wikipedia and many other websites, has the strongest health benefits. And there are many clinical studies done on all colors of maca, which actually show that it is a more powerful superfood and has much more benefits. For example, there were five different clinical studies done on black gelatinized maca that show that it has the potential to improve memory and learning. And not only that, but they actually, some of these clinical studies was tested where they took black maca and tested it against red and yellow at the same time to prove this. And it actually showed in a few of these clinical studies that the black maca, the, the mice that took the black maca were actually doing better in the step down avoidance test and the swimming water finding task and so much more simply from taking the black maca. The red maca had moderate results and the yellow maca didn't really do much for memory and learning. Furthermore, there were clinical studies where they took red, yellow, and black for, and they tested for daily sperm production in rats and the black maca had profound results while the other, the red had zero and the yellow is very minimal. And so the black maca shows that it has the potential to increase daily sperm production while at the same time improving sperm motility, which is the ability of the sperm to get to the egg. There was also a clinical study on black maca showing that it has the potential to reduce blood glucose levels. 
Furthermore, there was another clinical study done on red, black, and yellow maca, and black and red maca had the benefit of making bones stronger, while yellow maca had a moderate effect. Now, red maca did have some benefits that black and yellow maca had zero of due to the secondary metabolites present in the red maca. And there were actually five or six clinical studies done showing that it helped reduce the prostate size in male rats, where black maca and yellow maca had no impact on that. Now, yellow maca, there have been a ridiculous amount of clinical studies on it because it's the most prevalent. And it actually shows that it helps with erectile dysfunction, email fertility, has the potential to help with athletic performance, and so on. Now, black maca wasn't tested against it or for these things, so I have a feeling that black maca might be just as good as the uh, yellow maca, but even better for all of the above, but that's not shown anywhere. And the next thing we're gonna go over is the differences between gelatinized maca and raw maca and the benefits of each. Now, all the clinical studies that we just talked about here today, they either use gelatinized maca or an extract of maca, which is closer to the gelatinized form. And what is the difference between the two? Now, raw maca is simply just maca in its raw state and we grind it down and it is powdered. Now gelatinized maca, it's gone through a special process where it actually heats up and the temperature is raised beyond the enzyme destroying mark. So it does kill the enzymes, but what it does is it actually pressurizes it to where it takes out all the starch, the fiber and the dead space. So what it kind of does is it turns it into a macronutrient food, superfood, into a micronutrient food, which is more readily absorbable. And remember, it's the secondary metabolites that are in the maca that make all of these different benefits in the clinical studies. So when you gelatinize it, not only does it take the dead space out, but it actually makes the secondary metabolites more bioavailable. It kind of like cracks the cell open and it's more bioavailable to the human body. And that's why it's really good for if you're trying to target any of these different aspects as shown in these clinical studies, it's the gelatinized form that's the most potent. Furthermore, you're taking out all of this dead space from the maca. So the raw maca compared to the gelatinized maca, you've taken out all the dead space. So you probably have about three or four times more the amount of secondary metabolites compared to the raw maca in a more absorbable form. So if you're trying to balance your hormone system, increase your daily sperm production, or any of these different things, I would definitely take the gelatinized maca. Now, the raw maca, they've actually stated, I've heard people state that there's toxic enzymes in there and a person might not want to take it every single day. For me personally, it gives me digestive issues and I would not take it for more than four days straight and then I'll stop and then maybe take it again later. So with the gelatinized maca, it actually takes out these things, the toxic ingredients to where you can have more of it without any issue. So why would anybody even want to take the raw maca over the gelatinized maca? Well, there are certain benefits of the raw maca also. For example, the sugars and starches are intact, so someone who wants to build muscle mass, raw maca is definitely the way to go. Also, when you go to our uh, maca fields, um, when you look at the maca coming out of the ground, the greens are extremely wild. And when you try to pull it out, it's extremely hard to get out of the ground. It's like really hard to uproot. And it's known in the doctrine of signatures that's shared by herbalists that when something's hard to uproot, it's very strong and has resilience, which then gets passed on to the human body. So if this is important to you, which is really important to me, then the raw maca is the way to go. If you want to target any of these different medical conditions, then I would recommend the gelatinized maca. So the gelatinized maca is a micronutrient and the raw maca is more of like a superfood macronutrient. It's just a whole food. So let's go back to what I do in a day. I drink my water and then I'll have my first micronutrient of the day. We'll call it this time we did kint essential. I usually do that first thing. The next thing, let's say I did pine pollen and then, a, then the reishi spore oil. I wait 15 to 20 minutes between each one and I will do that up to three different micronutrients. And then the next thing I do is I have my first meal of the day. And I like to make that a superfood meal to even take my nutrition levels to another entire new level. What I'll do for breakfast, for example, is I'll take a bowl and I'll take two bananas and I'll break the bananas up in the bowl and then I'll mush it in there. So I've eaten all my micronutrients and now what I'm gonna do is take either black gelatinized maca or black maca. I personally like the black flavor. People are going nuts over this. You, people have more energy, they feel different. It's incredibly powerful. So I like, personally, I like to take black gelatinized maca and I'll put a tablespoon of that in the banana and I'll just kind of mush that in there. 
And then what I'll do is I'll take four or five other macronutrient superfoods, pour that on and put it in there also to make my first superfood meal of the day. Now I know this may be very difficult for many people to do because first thing in the morning, many people feel like they need their breakfast and to even get one micronutrient in is very difficult. But to replace your current breakfast with this banana superfood meal may sound crazy. And you can actually eat it with your breakfast or you can eat it in between meals or with your lunch or whatever. There are no definite rules here. I'm just trying to go for maximum absorption rate. I'm an extremist. We're doing micronutrients. My first solid meal is just loaded with nutrition. So what I'll do is I'll mush the bananas with the black gelatinized maca in there. And then I'm gonna t we're gonna go over the next five superfoods um, that I like to put inside of this banana meal. Now, we've spent a lot of time talking about all these superfoods, but we're going to start blowing through them all really quickly now. So the next two superfoods that I like to put in to my banana meal is lacuma and mesquite. And I'll either take a tablespoon of mesquite or a tablespoon of lacuma, or I'll take a half a tablespoon of each. And these, what lacuma is, is a Peruvian fruit, which is loaded with vitamins and minerals and mesquite powder is, comes from a pod, and this is also loaded with all sorts of nutrition. Now, what I love about these two superfoods is they taste sweet and they're low glycemic. Many superfood chocolatiers and raw food bars make sure to use these two superfood ingredients not only to make their bars taste really good, but also to boost the nutrition levels. One of the main reasons why I like to take this into my banana meals is because it, it takes it to the, the taste to an entire new level. This almost tastes like shortbread, and this is just almost like sugary mesquite. It's just, it tastes amazing. And on top of that, there were these clinical studies done on these two superfoods, which actually show it has the potential to help with blood pressure and lower blood glucose levels. So now we've got sweet, low glycemic superfoods that have the potential to even lower our blood glucose levels. So what I'll do is I'll take a tablespoon of each of these bad boys, throw it in the banana meal, and mush that down. So then what I'll do is I'll take two, mo two more superfood powders, noni powder and camu powder, and I'll only take a quarter teaspoon of the camu powder. Um, it tastes a little bitter because this is the real stuff, doesn't have maltodextrin, we don't make it sweet or anything like that. It has the skin, it's more nutritious. And then also noni powder, I'll probably take a teaspoon of this and I'll put it in the banana meal and, and mix it in, and mush it in there. And now what we're doing is we're targeting antioxidants. Antioxidants actually help protect us from free radical damage and free radicals. Now, free radicals can occur from many different things. For example, we can exercise more than we're used to and there's too much oxidation that happens. Or we might smoke cigarettes or be around secondhand smoke or we're breathing pollution or we're going through the airport and going through the radiation scanners or whatever it may be. Now, studies show that the best antioxidant for pollution and cigarette smoke, which everyone is having issues with in today's day and age, is vitamin C. That's an antioxidant that actually helps with that type of free radical issue. And camu powder, it is known that camu has more vitamin C than any other food on the planet. And this is why superfoods are so beneficial. You could literally just take a quarter teaspoon of this and do you realize how many vitamin C's worth of oranges you're getting? You're probably eating like 15 oranges within just one quarter teaspoon of camu powder. And I'll just throw this in my banana meal to make sure I'm getting all the vitamin C I need. Additionally, there are clinical studies shown where they took vitamin, camu camu powder against traditional vitamin C tablets, and they both had the same amount of vitamin C in it, but this actually showed added other benefits, such as cholesterol levels and more. It's because they, they couldn't figure out why, but there's certain added nutrition in here that is not in the vitamin C tablets, obviously. Furthermore, there were clinical studies done on this with mammals and animals and dogs, I believe it was, where it actually helped clean the fat adipose tissues. And the number one reason why I'm so adamant in taking superfoods, because in today's day and age, with the degradation of the food supply, with pesticides, pollution, we even heard Fukushima is happening, things, and all these different things. These are, superfoods are God sent. They're the most nutrient dense foods in the world. As we stated just a second ago, you take a quarter teaspoon of this, do you realize how many oranges you're getting? And people don't realize this concept. For example, a person might be like, why on earth would I want to buy banana powder, this superfood, when I could just go to the market and buy bananas straight off you know, the market shelf? Well, firstly, the bananas that you buy there were not ripened on the tree, so it didn't get the full nutrient spectrum that it needed from the soil. 
in Ecuador here, these bananas are ripened on the tree, they're taken, and they are dried down into a powder. So you're getting ridiculous amounts of bananas in just a small amount of powder. It has the full nutrition spectrum that it needs. And if you just take a, quart, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of banana powder, how much nutrition of bananas are, that you get from the local grocery market are you really getting? It can be a ridiculous amount. And this is why superfoods are God sent right now in today's day and age. So vitamin C is the best antioxidant for pollution and cigarette smoke. Vitamin E is said to be the best for oxidation for when we exercise too much or we're oxidizing too much. And then there's also other critical antioxidants such as beta carotene and then selenium is a crucial critical mineral that plays into this whole entire free radical protection game. And noni powder has all of that. There have been clinical studies done on this that show that this is one of the best antioxidants in the world. I have actually never seen a superfood have as many clinical studies done on it as noni. And this is like pure noni powder. There's no other ingredients. It's fermented in the traditional ways. It's the most powerful noni product on the market that I know of. There are clinical studies on noni that show that it has the potential to be beneficial to diabetes. I know no other superfood that I feel is more beneficial to diabetes than this. Furthermore, it has, it has potential to be anti-inflammatory, lower cholesterol levels, raise good cholesterol levels, help with blood pressure. I've seen that it helps with arthritis. I don't think it's as good as pine pollen for that, but it shows that it could be very beneficial for that. Also, there are many clinical studies out there that shows that it can have the potential to be beneficial for cancer. Now, I think that the tritropine crystals are the best for that, but this would be secondary to that. This is one of my favorite superfoods, and again, I've never seen as many clinical studies done on it for another superfood than this one. So what we have is my banana meal with all these five superfoods mushed into it. Then what I'll do is I'll maybe throw some goji berries in there or something like that to make it even taste better. It tastes incredible, guys. And you don't need to make a banana meal. What you could literally do is take apples or bananas or any fruit and make a smoothie and put it in the blender and do it all really quickly. This is just what I personally like to do. It's almost like a porridge of some sort. And then there's one last superfood that I like to put into this banana meal that takes it to an entire new level. And when I tell you about the benefits of this superfood, you're gonna be blown away. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna target colon health and other aspects too. And what we have here is yuck-on syrup. We are actually the largest suppliers of yuck-on syrup in the world. And about six to eight months ago, yuck-on syrup was featured on Dr. Oz. He actually did an entire episode on it. And when yuck-on syrup was featured, Every health food store, online shop, and every store that carried Yakon syrup completely ran out, except us. And we literally went from selling hundreds of Yakon syrup a week to thousands a day. It was absolute madness and ludicrous. And what we did was we contacted all of our suppliers of Yakon syrup in Peru. We know them all. We have them all working for us and we said we need everything you have and please continue to make as much as you possibly can i want to secure the entire batch and they said yes this is great this is awesome so we're in the process of getting all this yuck on syrup air freighted to us and all i'm like freaking out here trying to keep up with everything so the next day you know i call them up saying all of our yuck on syrup suppliers saying how's everything going is it going everything going good and what they say to me is yeah, everything's going good, Matt, but uh, the price of yuck-on syrup doubled. And I'm still like, ah, you know, every, all of, everybody's trying to get the yuck-on syrup now because one day went by, and I'm like, still, bring it all in. We want it all. <laughs> so we actually secured the entire crop of yuck-on syrup. I don't know how anybody else could have gotten any yuck-on syrup. However, there were other yuck-on syrups that were coming out on the market on a daily basis at a low price that wasn't even conceivable. We actually had one of our raw chocolate vendors where we carry the Caracal Confections caramel bar. They used yuck on syrup for the caramel and they needed so much so fast they actually got it from another company. And when they got their yuck on syrup, they were like, this is nasty. This doesn't even taste like yuck on syrup. And so when things like this happen, like a big boom, you gotta watch out. This has happened many times in the past with things such as hoodia and stuff like this, that products like this become adulterated. So it's not just the fact that yuck on syrup was on Dr. Oz, why it went so crazy. It's because what he did with it that made it go absolutely nutso. Now, what Dr. Oz obviously saw was a clinical study done on yuck on syrup, 
where they took obese women and they, what they did was they gave these obese women one teaspoon of yukon syrup three times a day before each meal. They did no diet changes and no exercise. And in the clinical study, all of these women lost weight. So what Dr. Oz did was he tried to duplicate the exact same clinical study on his show with 60 audience members. And then the results came in. And out of all 60 women, there was an average weight loss of 2.9 pounds. There was a 1.9 inch waistline reduction in all the women, satiation sensation decreased, defecation frequency increased. A large portion of these women actually stated they would recommend for their friends to use it for weight loss. So why would all these different things happen when taking yukon syrup? Well, yukon syrup contains FOS which is a prebiotic. It's not a probiotic, but it's a prebiotic that actually feeds beneficial bacteria, probiotics, in the gut. So when all of a sudden you start feeding the beneficial bacteria, all of a sudden you're like losing weight, you're going to the bathroom more often, your colon health improves, you become less hungry, and hence the results that all these people had on the Dr. Ross show and in this clinical study. So then I started to research a bit further and I found even more clinical studies done on this. Now, yukon syrup is known as a sweetener in the whole entire raw food world scene and it tastes really good. So there were a couple clinical studies showing that it actually has the potential to lower blood glucose levels while being sweet at the same time. And then I came across a clinical study that was more mind blowing than all of them. For the ones that took yukon syrup, it actually reduced the amount of polyps in the colon, which are a prelude to colonic crypts. Furthermore, it reduced the amount of tumors within the colon. Another clinical study showed that it increased transit time through the colon when, ta when this is taken. I personally feel that there is no other superfood that is more beneficial for colon health compared to yukon syrup. And what I'll do is I'll take my banana meal with all those superfood powders all mushed together and then I throw goji berries in there and then I'll just kind of like drizzle a little bit of yuck on syrup, mush that, and then I've got the perfect breakfast that you can possibly imagine. Jam packed with nutrition, taken right after my micronutrients. This could be taken with your breakfast or in between meals or with your lunch or dinner, whatever you want to do. But it's a great way to get the superfoods into your body or you could just do simple, a simple green smoothie or fruit smoothie with superfoods. So the next thing we're going to target is omega fatty acids. And just like we did antioxidants, I'm going to give you a deep understanding of omega fatty acids in just a few minutes. Now, there's omega fatties 3, 6, and 9. Now, 6 and 9, none of us really have to worry about. It's very easy to get. Now, omega fatty acid 3 is a whole other story. And unfortunately, statistics show that 90% of Americans are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. And the reason why this is so critical is because 60% of our brain is composed of these omega-3 fatty acids. So omega-3 fatty acids are broken down into three different fatty acids, and they include ALA, DHA, and EPA. Now, ALA is very easy for everyone to get. This is available in hemp oil, chia oil, flax oil, olive oil, all those different oils out there. Now, DHA and EPA is not as easy to get. Now, Sacha Inchi oil is known to be one of the best balances of omega fatty acids available. It's probably the best vegetarian source of omega fatty acids. And there was actually a clinical study done on this where it was put up against sunflower oil and the ones that took Sacha Inchi oil, it showed that it raised ALA and DHA levels, but with sunflower oil, this didn't happen. Now, Sacha Inchi oil only has ALA. Why would DHA levels rise in the clinical study? Well, in the human body, ALA is converted into EPA, and EPA is then converted into DHA. And this can all be done in the human body, but the problem is it takes extra metabolic work to convert ALA into EPA, and then it takes even more metabolic work to convert EPA into DHA. And it's known that some people with allergies and other conditions such as diabetes have a difficult time converting these fatty acids from ALA to EPA to DHA. And this is why doctors recommend a lot of the time to make sure you're taking DHA and EPA directly. And this is why a lot of the time you'll hear about fish oil being used for omega-3 fatty acids to get DHA and EPA. 
and this works and that's good and stuff, but the fish that actually you are consuming doesn't produce EPA and DHA on, on its own. They actually get it from the algae that they consume. And this right here is Omega Zen plus EPA is the algae they fish consume. And it's like going directly to the source. I personally feel that this is the best EPA and DHA product in the market. It's called Omega Zen plus EPA. And for pregnant women and breastfeeding women, getting DHA and EPA is critical. What is happening is you have a baby forming in your body and the brain is developing. And if you're not getting enough omega fatty acid, threes, DHA and EPA, what the baby will do is it'll start to get the EPA and DHA from your own brain. And this can actually unfortunately dissolve your brain. It's composed of 60% of these precious fatty acids. And this is why you sometimes hear about pregnancy brain. This is what's going on here. So it's critical to take as much of this as you possibly can when you're pregnant and breastfeeding. There's studies showing that when a mother is taking this during breastfeeding, it just keeps coming through the, the breast milk as much as you're possibly taking. It doesn't matter. Just take ridiculous amounts. Angela, when she was pregnant with Araya, took ridiculous amounts of these and still takes it to this day since she's breastfeeding. If anybody's pregnant or breastfeeding, I want to help you out. I'm going to give this to you at half price. What you could do is you can write me on Facebook and I can help you out at getting this guy at half price. So now we've targeted omega fatty acid, we've balanced our hormone system, we've boosted our immune system, we've taken our nutrition levels beyond you could possibly imagine. We've got two last things and what we're going to hit now is chlorophyll and even more vitamins. And what we have here are chlorella tablets. Now, <clears throat> these chlorella tablets, there's something extremely special about them. And what that is, is they taste really, really good. Now, if you're on the standard American diet, you might not think so, but me, my wife, Angela, and my daughter, Araya, can chew on these like they're candy. All the kids in town, their parents get their children this to munch on because they actually like it. What actually happened the other day is our housekeeper came up to Angela and she was like, Angela, Araya is so healthy. My child is always sick. What can I do? Why is Araya always so healthy? And then Angela's thinking like, what can she explain to her? I mean, if women would have to hear the entire talk we did about how to heal disease naturally and just to be healthy over 30 minutes, but she only had a certain amount of time. So all she could think about was getting these chlorella tablets and bee pollen, which tastes really good and giving it to her child to see if he would like it. And so she brought it home. And now this kid is on the standard American diet, eats like crap. And she was surprised, the housekeeper, because when she ate, when he ate this, he loved him. He was like eating him with ca like candy. And it just shows that children actually really love this. And it's a great way to get this type of nutrition inside of little ch children. Now, what is so great about chlorella? Well, it's an algae and there's no food on the planet that has more chlorophyll. Not even wheatgrass has more chlorophyll than this. Chlorophyll, I like to consider as the beauty molecule. Chlorella has every vitamin the human body needs, and also it's extremely high in protein. I feel like this is the best superfood for raw food eaters to, a to eat in order to get all the protein they need. It's the best protein source for a raw food eater. Now, there have been clinical studies done on this that it actually shows it decreases arterial stiffness. There's actually one, more than one that show that. It actually shows that it has the potential to reduce heavy metals. It also talks about how it goes past the brain barrier and it can actually remove phospholipids, which causes dementia and other issues. This is just another powerful superfood that tastes great and you could just swallow them if you want also, but kids can actually chew on them like candy. And we've got one final supplement superfood type thing we're gonna talk about. And it's a critical nutrient that many people think only vegetarians have an issue with, but it's actually equally in the same exact ratio just as many animal protein eaters have this type of deficiency just as much as vegetarians. And this is B12. And it's known that B12, the best way to get B12 is the form of methylcobalamin and to do it as a shot. Now the second most effective way we have discovered is through these B12 patches. What you do is you open this bad boy up and you peel off a patch, I'm probably wearing one right now, yep, right here, and you stick it right here. And these are so powerful, you, you can smell it, but it goes straight right into the bloodstream, into the capillaries, into the bloodstream. And it's the most effective B12 methylcobalamin supplement on the market. I was actually at a talk and a woman came up to me saying, I love your B12 patches. Me and my friend have a mutation where we don't methylate B12 properly. And when I heard about these, I got extremely excited. I bought her some 
and I came to her house. She was bedridden for the day with zero energy. I put this on her. I made her put it on and she was walking all around cleaning the house for the rest of the day. She was doing incredible. I actually videoed her talking about this at the link below if you want to check out that video we did. These B12 patches are the most effective B12 product on the market. So there you have it. We have covered the top 14 supplements and superfoods in the world to bring every nutrition level to beyond where they need to be. And again, you don't need to do any of this if you can't afford it in order to be healthy. Now, for those of you that want to take your nutrition levels be way beyond where they need to be and you're interested in hitting this as hard as you possibly can, what we did was we created two different superfood packs which, care, which includes every last one of these supplements. We actually have a one month superfood kit and we also have a two month superfood kit. Now the one month is $247 and the two months is double the price. It's about 497, but there's a lot more than double the amount of products in there. And we're able to do this because of the price point. For example, the one month pack doesn't have the Sacha Inchi oil, but the two month pack does. Furthermore, the one month pack only has one of these guys. The two month pack has three. Also the size differential. This is in, you get smaller sizes in the one month pack. And the pine pollen, for example, is just 50 grams, while this is eight ounces, which is about five times the amount of this. Also, you get three yuck-on syrup versus just one yuck-on syrup. Additionally, with these superfood packs, what we have included are these instructions on how to take them. It pretty much goes over exactly everything we went through on this video about the banana meal or a smoothie, however you want to do it, how to apply the B12 patch. It just goes into great detail on how all this works. These superfood packs are discounted greatly. For example, the, five, the $497 one would normally cost seven, $800 and so on. If this is something you're interested in ordering, you can click the link below or you can just go to our website, therawfoodworld.com, and click under the category superfood kits on the left-hand side. So what we did in the first video is we talked about how to heal disease naturally by eliminating processed foods. And we talked about a little bit about colon cleansing, how that could be beneficial. This can all be done for free. You can find other ways to nourish yourself if you don't have the money to spend here. Or remember, you could just, all of a sudden you wanna hit minerals, we're gonna get this this month. We'll get this the next month and so on. And then we talked about how to nourish yourself, which was all of today's video and bring your nutrition levels well way beyond where they need to be. Of course, there's a whole other spiritual factor in order to be healthy. In the future, I plan to do a video on that. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Thank you for tuning in. I'm hoping you got a lot out of this video and you found ways to support yourself and your family. And my name is Matt Monarch and we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show.